What is up guys, Groge Gaming here. Welcome back to another Clash Royale video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over my uh, my five favorite decks for this 20 win challenge. And I'm on 8-0 at the minute, um, and I'm using this deck. So this one here, um, it's a P.E.K.K.A control deck. So you've got the P.E.K.K.A, the E-Wiz, Bandit, um, Miner, Goblins, Bats, Poison, Zap. Um, so the, way, the reason that it's a control deck is because you only really use the P.E.K.K.A to defend, so that controls the game, destroys tanks, destroys battle rams, hogs, everything like that, um, and then you use the miner to chip down the tower and the poison as well, um, and then you generally form big counter pushes. Yeah, you, you don't really drop the P.E.K.K.A at the back that often by itself because you can get pushed down the other lane and um, get destroyed like that. But yeah, so we're going to go through a couple of replays with this deck. Um, and I'm going to show you the four of the decks that I think are going to work in this challenge. Um, so let's go to number one. Number one is the Balloon Cycle deck that I showed you the other day with the Mini Pekka and the Ice Wizards for some really strong uh, defense. I did actually play with this deck in my face reveal video, so go and check that out if you want to see a bit of gameplay with that. And then moving on, we've got this deck which is a Hog Cycle deck in a way. It's not quite a Cycle deck, it's um, a bit expensive for a Cycle deck, but it's a really strong Hog deck with Lightning. Um, and you've got the guards in there which is a bit different as well, they're really good against the current meta. Bats as well, so you've got a bit of air defense, um, you could probably throw in some, some more air defense instead of the guards. Maybe like a mega minion, or a princess or something like that. Uh, that could definitely work, so this is a strong hog deck that you want to be using. Uh, next we've got the bait deck, the original bait deck really, really really strong in this meta. Um, and I've seen a lot of people using this in the challenge. I'm not really going to go through how to play bait, um, but yeah, this is definitely a strong deck if you do want to use it. Then we've got my deck, and uh, someone in my clan, or just a friend in general, has um, got 20 wins already with this deck. So it's a bridge spam deck essentially, but it's got it's kind of like a P.E.K.K.A beatdown bridge spam deck. Um, as you've got the P.E.K.K.A, uh, the E-Wiz for some good defense. Night Witch in there, Bandit, Bat, so it, it's just solid for defending for 3.8 Elixir. You've got the Battle Ram, which is one of the main win conditions of the deck. Poison and Zap. You can throw in Log if you want, but Zap is really good with Bandit and Battle Ram because you can, um, you can kind of poison and Zap away a lot of the things that they use to defend with. So um, give this deck a go. The guy got 20 wins and 2 losses, I believe. But anyway, what we are going to do is uh, go through a couple replays with my deck. It's actually a, a deck that one of my friends made and I just added the bats in there for a bit of, uh, make it a bit stronger. So we're going to watch this uh, Three Musketeer bridge spam deck and just see how we picked up the win in this situation. So this is a fairly good starting hand. He goes very, very aggressive. I, um, if I'd have had the pecker in my hand to start with, he would have been absolutely screwed. Uh, so we got a bit lucky in that sense. So it wasn't the best, but I definitely um, I definitely had to use the P.E.K.K.A there just to clear things up. And obviously that cost me a fair bit of elixir to actually defend. Uh, but I, I, was, I wasn't too bothered, that, bothered at this point because it was fairly early on. So this is going to be some pretty decent poison value. And we're going to get a swing on the tower, which is just great. Uh, so that's 6 or 4 on those... Um, on those musketeers and here really I probably should have just not bothered with the left side um, should have just left it to do its own thing in which case the goblins would have been fine by themselves just for the um, for the bandit so we're looking fairly good at this point we've got a nice um, a nice little elixir lead and really we just want to be chipping down the tower with the miner so that's what we're going to go ahead and do I'm not sure what happened here, he must have lagged or something like that, because he let, he let me get some chip damage in there, which was great. I'm not sure if it was me or him that was lagging, but something happened. So just going to wait for a fairly decent zap in there and um, go in for bats on the left hand side and some goblins, just kind of draw it all into the middle. Whoops, get off. <laughs> yeah, um, just kind of draw it into the middle and that, that was absolutely fine, we didn't really take any damage I don't think. So, um, a minute left of this game, 
And really, we're just looking to kind of defend and chip down his tower with the miner. So again, we're going to send in the miner. Try and get a bit of chip damage on the tower. And he manages to block it, so... Um, I just set up an uh, knee whiz in his lane. And uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to have heal at this point, but... Um, so I was just thinking, do I need to poison here or not? So I went in with a poison. And uh, and a Pekka as well. Maybe it wasn't quite necessary, but we, we still did an okay job uh, on the right side. So, And then we have a decent counter push coming in with the Bandit. And I think he lets it hit the tower. Oh, no, no. So here I zap away the Bat just to allow uh, my push to actually take out the tower fully. And then 17 seconds left. He's kind of clutching at straws here and just has to go for whatever he can. Um, so as you can see, he's trying to go for both lanes and it's not really working for him. And that's going to be a pretty easy win for us. Bit of an accidental BM poison there. <laughs> Which he laughed at. Uh, we're going to show this bait deck because bait is pretty much a hard counter to this deck because you don't have a log. <laughs> And uh, this guy kind of threw the game away, and uh, I had to try and figure out how to actually beat bait with this deck. Um, so let's just uh, fast forward this a tiny bit until something actually important happens. <laughs> so here I'm going to go for a, va uh, a Pekka on the Valkyrie. It seemed like the only logical option at that point. And then the left side kind of cleared itself up fairly nicely. And I let the right side go because my P.E.K.K.A got um, four elixir from the Valkyrie and then he used an Inferno. So I gained two elixir from that kind of exchange. So that's why I just left it and went with the push on the left hand side. This was probably a little bit un unnecessary but I was just trying to keep the pressure up. And then the bats do a great job um, on top of the Valkyrie. He doesn't really need to respond to them. They only get one shot, I believe. So, yeah, that's about 60, 70 damage. Um, and at this point, I was thinking... So, he's got a bait deck. I need to get through his Inferno. I'm going to try and get a big snowball push coming at him. Uh, and this didn't really work. So, against bait with this deck, I definitely recommend um, just going with minor pushes, to be honest. Minor poison. Uh, this is a bit of a crazy rocket. I'm not really sure that was necessary. So I just kind of left it all alone because I gained a huge elixir lead there. He did actually catch up in damage, but um, it just seemed a bit unnecessary to be honest. Um, I think I go in with a poison. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't great, but I can't complain too much. So I think at this point, I'm not sure if I bother again with the P.E.K.K.A. Um, this was not great, but we're going to take out the Princess with the Miner, so that's okay. Get a little bit of chip damage in there. And this is a bit of a, a, bit of a panic moment. He gets a fair bit of chip damage onto my tower. Takes it down by about 500 health. Uh, so not looking that great right now, but we are going to come in with a Bandit and a Bat Push, which... Get shut down. Um, and obviously he knows that I don't have log anymore. So he's just um, being really, really annoying with his barrels. Because I can't really deal with them. And at this point I was thinking, that's it, good game. He's just going to rocket me out. So I've just got to apply so much pressure that he can't deal with it. I still think he could have just rocketed me out. But there you go. Um, and obviously... Got a zap in there and the bandit and the goblins just come onto the tower. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for that win. I'm not really sure why he did that, but there we go. Um, I'm just going to keep this video fairly short today so, so you guys can just see the five decks that I think are going to work in this challenge and then maybe go on to use this deck and have a bit more success with it. Hopefully I'm going to go 20-0. No, I'm joking. That's probably not going to happen, but yeah. As long as I get the legendary chest and maybe 20 wins, that would be really, really good. What I'll probably just do now is play one live game. I'm not sure how it's going to go, so bear with me. Um, I didn't really want to play a live game in this challenge just because I wanted to fully focus by myself and not have to talk over it. 
But we are going to do it anyway and just see how we play. So good luck. Um, Japanese characters, I think. Chinese, I'm not entirely sure. I think they're Japanese. Or Korean. I don't know. Um, so probably just going to split some stuff at the back for now and just see what he does. Um, okay, so he's going to go for a Dark Prince, which is interesting. The, um, the Ewis should actually do a great job on this. And he's got the, the giant coming down, so I'm just going to go in. Oh no. Ah, oh, the Ewis. So I'm just going to zap away most of those minions. Um, just to kind of keep my Pekka alive a bit longer. Damn. If that Ewis. That was probably bad placement by me, so I really should have made sure that the Pekka was in a place where the Ewis would just stay right behind it. Okay, so lump, giant uh, Dark Prince Lumberjack. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so we're just going to do the same kind of thing again. I don't want to put my uh, my big Pekka down until I know that he has the giant. So we're just going to do it here. And I honestly don't think this giant will make it to the tower whatsoever. And he's just feeding into my Pekka right now. So much value for it. So... Um, <laughs> He got got like two chip shots, chip chip shots on the tower. We're gonna come in with some bats once it crosses. Okay, that's a bit annoying. However, the bats are gonna do a good job on the minion horde, and uh, the lumberjack's gonna go down. So he, he's doing a fairly good job, to be honest. This is gonna be tough. Uh, I've just got to make sure I deal with his giants properly. Keep the pecker for the giants. So I'm just going to go into that lane for now and see what he does, see if he switches it up. Yeah, so I'm always going to play the Electro Wizard when I see the Dark Prince because it's going to reset the charge. Okay, so he managed to take it out. Ooh! So I need to get the Goblins in for the Lumberjack and he's going to do a decent job there. He's putting a lot of pressure on me, which is good from his end. Okay, we calm down now. <laughs> so really, um, unless he plays the giant, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, so there we go. So hopefully this is going to be the moment where I can overpower him. Okay, so this is looking good so far. The giant is going to get annihilated. Ah, yeah. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. The uh, I noticed that the camera, the uh, gameplay was lagging over there. So here we're going to come in with a huge push, and it looks like we're going to take that tower. Yes. Apologies if the gameplay is lagging, but that's it. Good game. Wow. So we're nine zero now. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. I was noticing, sorry, I was just noticing over there that um, the gameplay seemed to be freezing. So I don't know what you saw of that. Um, but yeah, we won anyway. <laughs> Gonna collect the magical chest. Just skip through it and see what we get. No legendaries, but we're gonna get some Pekka anyway. Um, yeah, a quick note with this deck would be keep the Pekka at all times until you see a necessary moment to use it. So when you know their deck, then you can play the Pekka. Obviously, if they've got a huge bridge, bridge spam push coming at you, then you can use it. Um, but if you don't really know what deck they've got, save it. And definitely save the Ewis for, when, for defending. Don't just send it on pushes, like by itself with the Miner. Um, keep that for defending. You can kind of use these other cards for, for little pushes if you want. But yeah, just play it very, very safe. And uh, save the Pekka and Ewis, because those are the two most important cards in this deck by far. Um, so yeah, there's my five decks for this challenge, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to join the Groge Gang, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.